that mm-hmm. you're trying to make the good guy wait. I think that you want him to see the value in you. Sometimes I'm like, all right, if I give it to him too, too soon, he's going to think, you know, like I'm not a good girl or there's no, like, you know, he, I'm just a quick, easy F or whatever. Now listen, I'm a, <laughs> me, me as me, I'm speaking for myself. I don't mind waiting. If I like a woman and I'm feeling that attraction towards her, I don't mind waiting. Yeah, I mean, I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? Now, you ain't going to keep teasing me because I'm a, I may bust on off, put one to put on your forehead. <laughs> Is she making sense? <laughs> a woman explains female logic when it comes to making good men wait <laughs> with a cootie cat <laughs> versus mm. a one night stand. Let's or go. a two night stand. Yep. Or a three night stand. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's when you keep coming back to the good shit. <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. How come? Oh, you'll give it to a whack dude before and then make a good guy wait. I don't think that you're trying to make the good guy wait. I think that you want him to see the value in you. Sometimes I'm like, all right, if I give it to him too, too soon, he's going to think, you know, like I'm not a good girl or there's no like, you know, he, I'm just a quick, easy F or whatever. And I think that's sometimes what women will do. They'll 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 make the guy that they really like wait longer because that's who they really like see potential. And I might see a husband in you and just like men, like see certain women like, oh, she's wife and material or, you know, she's just somebody I'm going to smash. I think women are able to do that as well. Like, you know, oh, you know, he, he's got a lot of good qualities. He got some good stuff going for himself. You know, I'm just, you know, let me see how it goes and make him wait for it. And then, mm-hmm. you know, hopefully that can you guys can build on the relationship more instead of just the sexual. And then it can blossom into something else. Women don't want to um, be confused mm-hmm. by the sex. And they actually want to get to know, is this a good dude? Like, mm-hmm. should I continue down this road? Because with some people like the sex can cloud your judgment oh, yeah. Um on, on what a person is or what they could be, you know. So I, I would think that that may have something to do with it as far as waiting. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good example, too. That's real. CJ, you look like you, you got Man, something to say. Hey. Don't, listen, let me tell you something. If you don't give it to motherfucking Tyrone, don't make me wait for the cootie cat. First of all. Now don't make me wait let me, for the cootie cat. Let me just say that if the person is whack, you ain't getting me at all. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I'm saying. I see it, I hell of first it. of all, CJ, that, that, CJ look like he got that, that, something to say. That, that, CJ look like he got something on his that, mind. That, <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'll come back. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I, I, I got, I got like he was boiling. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. He had the, the forehead wrinkled up. Like, go ahead, CJ. I want to hear this one. I love women. I really do. I have a mother. I have two <laughs> sisters. I have a bunch of cousins, family members. I love women. Uh, some of the jobs that I've, I've got was because of women. But this whole women logic thing. Who runs the world? Girls. Is a little, Who it's, runs it, the world? It, 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 Girls. It, it doesn't make sense. Oh shit, I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. So she would give the whack dude, as my, my, my co host says, the cootie cat. Oh, and you gonna make she would give it cooter? to the good dude. Yeah, Why does on. that make sense? That makes no sense. So again, you going to eat the trash food, mm. <laughs> but you going to save the good food, but you starving. That just does not make sense to me. And I don't know if women's logic is different from just regular logic. I don't want to say that their logic is not I think the logic real. based, it depends on the person. It just, not just doesn't male make versus sense. Female. Like, that doesn't make sense why you would not give the good guy the chance first because the whack dude is going to show up whack he's you're going to see he's going to he's going to show that he just wants to use it's you. just even if he's that, not there to use you he's just not a, the type of guy you like why would you give him it first and make why the would good you give it to wait? him at all i just it just <laughs> don't make sense to me like i'll be trying to understand how women think about stuff and maybe because it's based off of emotion but it just does not make that don't make sense to me that I, I would never understand that. I, I I just don't. I don't get it. We don't understand some of the stuff y'all men do. Y'all, like. Listen, I'm a, <laughs> me me as me. I'm speaking for myself. I don't mind waiting. If I like a woman, and I'm feeling that attraction towards her, I don't mind waiting. Yeah, I mean, I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? 
Now you ain't gonna keep teasing me because I'm a, I may bust one off, put one to put on your forehead. Right. But I don't mind waiting if I feel that that's a good one. But don't make me wait, and then you gonna give it to oh yeah on a first night. Now if I know that you a a a, a, a easy joint, if I'm coming, if I, listen, I'm taking you out. I'm get some drinks, and I know in my mind, yeah, I heard that you was an easy John, so I'm you now. And and you talking about? Oh, I think she, no, hell no. Well, but she is like she was saying, like you know, she's the good girl, and she wants him. She wants him if to you see are a her. Good girl, from a from a female's perspective, if you're a good girl, why even waste your time and your physical and your your physical senses and your emotions on some on somebody that that you don't even see long term with? What's the point? What's the point? Because they're not being logical. They're not. They're not being smart. They're not. They're just not using the logic that makes sense. Like a quarter and a quarter is fifty cents. It's just that simple. <laughs> yeah. So if if Tyrone is whatever, like again, I don't understand why women overlook red flags. He live with his mama. Red flag. Bye. Leave. He take yeah. you out just like one of the videos we did before. He pick you up and it's a stolen car. <laughs> don't get in it dummy <laughs> like what yeah, okay but you know what this what is the, the thing hell? because it's like y'all 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 be contradicting yourselves because sometimes okay not saying that y'all are a yeah. tyrone yeah but you want the women to to be like that sometimes you just want a woman that just want that you that can just hit without the emotions attached so which one do you want yes because we're men yes but which one do you want both yeah. oh lord i mean so, I, i'm gonna say this we want the wifey material. So, but we'll hit the hooker material. I'll give, you, I'll give you a perfect example. My longest ever relationship. My girlfriend, four four years and some change. It was off a one night stand? The first, well, not a one night stand. First time I met her. Like in physical. Like we talked on the phone. The first yeah. time I met her, we had we, we, we did it. But after the, the my post nut clarity, when I had my post nut clarity, I seen that the 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 stuff that the attributes that she had oh this is a this is a woman I could be with because that that's how it was for me at at one time that's why I said it, both. it was one of my longest relationships it was it was a one night stand when I was young and that was one of my longest I'm talking like eight nine years yeah, that woman she was an amazing woman yeah. and so it was like okay I see that once I got past this you know that again I call it that first nut clarity because we're we're born and bred like ooh. I, I want to do this. I want to do this. And then after it, that's mm. when all the logic start really kicking in for us. Like, okay, what is she? Like, how she? what type of yeah. woman is she? What yeah. does she do? How does she carry herself outside? Like, all that stuff start coming in after we get, we, we bop that off. And so when you start looking at it, like, hmm, she's a good decision maker. She not out there making herself look like an OnlyFans model or a whore or whatever. Yeah. Oh, she carrying herself well. She treats me a certain way. So then you start adding up the attributes. You're like, yeah, she could definitely be my woman, and yeah. that's what that's what it. That's why I said it's both of them. Cause it's like, yeah, we we would we can wait. Would we like to wait? Let me ask you this, because you say, okay, I'm a I'm a of the minority or majority, right? I'm minority. not of the Min majority. You're minority. minority. Yes. Yes. Very but what, what do you consider yourself, CJ? Because do you speak for who do you speak for? Do you speak for the minority or I for speak, the majority? I speak for the mature men. So they're not they're not in the minority. So therefore, 50, 50, 50, what percentage 50. Of, of of men are you speaking 50, for? 50 50. You got the men who are not mature, <laughs> and you got the men who are. So you saying fifty percent of men out there are mature? Yes. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. But, but, you, but, you, but listen, you, you wanna, but you know, you want to know the difference? I think that, and I'm, and this might not be you. I think that uh, there are 50 50 percent of men that are mature, but most of the women are not looking at those men. <laughs> They're looking at different type of men. So it's like the man who is I don't know. He might be short. He might mm -hmm. not have a beard, or he might this, or he might that. He might have some attributes that are a little off. But Let he's me mature. Tell you something. It has nothing to do with a, somebody that's mature yeah. no, because so I've dealt with someone that was very mature and business like, and that's all he wanted. He wasn't mature. That so doesn't make him mature. So well, let, let me let me let me ask you this: Have you ever had a one night stand? <laughs> yes, I have. And how did that end? I don't know. Did, I've never, did it end I never, with, with like with, with the relationship? <laughs> no, I never saw him again. Really. Well, see, well, my one night stand ended into like an eight year relationship. No, mine was. I mean, which one? Okay, so. Oh, I don't <laughs> think you wanted to say that. Wait, Let me look, put the look, camera look, back. 
So how did it end again? So no, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> um, no, it was like it. It was what it was. One yeah. night, that yeah. was it. The Honey Dip Chronicles. Yeah, the, uh, the honey. I mean, we, yeah, there. <laughs> Wendy, we gonna start a new YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna call Spicy the honey <laughs> Spicy After Dark. Spicy After Dark. <laughs> Oh man, listen, this joint podcast, man. Listen, Dre, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. 